Hey guys, I'm going to show you an easy way to make wax melts. They're like mini candles without wicks, but you boil them. Oh no, not boil them. <laughs> you burn them in an oil burner like this one. I mean, it's so beautiful and very different from all the other oil burners. I'm going to leave you the link in the description to show you where to shop this particular one because it's just so beautiful. I'm also going to show you how to remove leftover wax from your oil burner and let's get into the video. So here's what you need. You're going to need some wax. You're going to need some silicone mold. You're going to need a dye block, which is optional, by the way. That's if you want to add color. You're going to need a thermometer, fragrance oils, and any extra stuff you want to put in like rose petals. You need something to melt the wax in. You need a cup to measure the fragrance. You need a kitchen scale and then a white piece of paper. I'll show you why I'm using this in a second. You need a mini whisk or a spoon to mix it in. By the way, this video is sponsored by my ebook on candle making. I'm just going to share more at the end of this video. You want to measure the wax and place in your double boiler. Now, whilst that is melting, you want to measure the fragrance that you need. Remember that all the information is going to be in the link in the description so you can check it out. Now you want to take your wax off the heat, let it drop to about 65 degrees Celsius and then add your fragrance and mix. If you're using color, you want to melt whilst it's on the heat or just as soon as you take it off. This is where you need the piece of paper that I showed you at the beginning. You can't really see depth of color just by looking into the can. You literally can't. So just take it and drop it on paper and let it harden and then you see how much depth of color that you have. This is my trick for getting perfect color every single time. If you want to add rose petals, you want to drop some rose petals in the mold just before you pour the wax and then carefully pour your wax. I spilled some, which is fine. Let it harden and that is it. Literally, this is how to make a candle melt. I'm not really a big fan of candle melts that have glitter and all that stuff in it. Why? Because you just need the candle melt to provide beautiful fragrance for you and you don't really need all that. But if you do want to decorate your, your um, wax melts, or I've been saying candle melts, forgive me. <laughs> all you need to do is probably put like rose petals, lavender buds, you know, dried flowers, but not all that. You know, I, I see so many with glitter and stuff like that and just ugh, i don't really like them but that's just my personal preference so i had trouble on molding this one because i dragged it across the table before it completely hardened so make sure you don't do that just pour it exactly where you're going to leave it to set and as you can see i didn't have trouble with the other one Now, once it's all hardened and ready, you want to melt it in a wax burner like this one. Such a beautiful one. And now I'm going to show you how to remove your leftover wax. Should you have leftover wax in your burner? You want to leave it to harden. Obviously your wax will harden. And then you want to pour some hot water over the wax. If it doesn't come off because of the thick layer, like the one that I have here, what you can do is to light the candle underneath the burner and let it burn so that it burns from the bottom and then remove or turn off the candle, let it harden. And then it's so hard that you can literally press it and the water will be right underneath and then you can just scoop out. Another trick you can do is to light it up without water. Let it light up for a short while and then just scoop it out. Literally, it's so easy. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about candle making on a professional level, I want to invite you to learn more about candle making through my ebook, which covers everything you need to know about candle making if you want to start a business making candles. It covers your type of wicks, measuring wax, mixing fragrances, literally no guesswork anymore. This is the kind of book that I wish I had at the beginning of my candle making journey. And I want to offer it to you guys so that you can learn everything you need to know about making candles. You will make a consistently strong smelling candle every single time. Don't forget to subscribe if this is the kind of video that you like and you love my channel subscribe it helps my channel grow and i love you guys and i will see you guys later bye